Las Vegas real estate market, June 2021, exploding prices. The Las Vegas real estate market surprised many observers since home sales, which should escalate in May through August, went down in May 2021. But the price per square foot of single family houses appreciated by a record amount at the same time. In this video, we discuss why even the super tight active home listing inventory that you see in news articles is misleading and in reality, the vast number of buyers are priced out of one third of the meager available home listings, which we will explain by showing you active listings by price range. The median price and price per square foot of Las Vegas houses by June 2021. Unbelievable home price appreciation rates per month in 2021. The reasons for these eye popping price gains. A brief overview of condos and townhomes market as it is similar to single family homes how long the price appreciation will go on, and what should buyers and sellers do in the current market. We will talk about getting underwritten approved to compete with cash buyers on the buyer side and a clause that sellers agents should put in their listing to maximize the selling price. The active listing inventory of single family houses at the beginning of June stands at 2031, while 3,731 home listings have been added in May and 4,411 are currently under contract. However, home sales have dropped to 3,205 units, which are 341 less than last month. And it is not unusual as the same thing happened in 2019. However, this time around, excessively overpriced units and lack of listing inventory are to blame. To gain some insight into available listings, we are going to show them by price range. As of June 9th, 2021, only 80 available home listings are currently published in the MLS with an asking list price of less than $250,000. Please note that we are pulling all houses in the city of 2 million without filters like bedrooms, baths, lot area, or location. Of these, only 17 are two stories, 49 were more than 40 years old, and 18 units were built after 2000 so the buyers can get options like low E windows. The following price range is from $251,000 to $376,000, the FHA loan limit plus a 3.5% down payment. Only 535 available listings are available in this price range, including 202 two-story houses, 325 one-stories, and only 185 were built after 2000. So FHA loan buyers representing two thirds of all transactions can choose from only 615 listings in the Las Vegas Metro and are priced out of the rest. The conventional loan limit in Clark County is $548,250, which with the additional of a 20% down payment equals $658,000. 923 houses are listed in this price range, and many of these were in the FHA price range before more than 22% home price appreciation in the last 12 months. Of these, 542 units are two-story and 361 are one-story, while more than half were built after 2000. So even conventional loan buyers with a 20% down payment are priced out of 733 out of 2031 listings and have 1,298 choices. So the vast majority of buyers can only afford 1,300 houses. The insufficient listing inventory along with strong demand is the reason for the eye-popping price gains. Median price and price per square foot of Las Vegas homes by June 2021. Supply and demand in real estate is measured as the months of listing inventory calculated by dividing available listings by the unit sales in a month. It stands at 0.6 months, which is a negligible increase from April and far from four months of inventory, which is necessary for stable pricing. The median price of Las Vegas for May is $385,000, which is 2.7% higher than April and 11.6% higher so far in 2021. But the median price only shows the market activity in lower price ranges. A better criterion to measure home price appreciation is the price per square foot of units calculated by dividing the total square footage of all houses sold with accumulated price in a period. 
The price per square foot of single family houses for May 2021 is $216 per square foot. But not all homes appreciate at the same rate. Lower priced houses percentage of price appreciation is more than the more expensive houses. Las Vegas home price appreciation rates per month in 2021. This table shows the median and the price per square foot appreciation of homes sold in several periods. We will show the median price gains, but we'll discuss price per square foot appreciations. The price per square foot of single family houses appreciated by 11.5% in 2020. The following three columns show the price per square foot appreciation in the last 12 months and every month in 2021. And these home price appreciation rates are mind boggling. In our last Las Vegas real estate market video, we predicted that the 3% appreciation rates of previous months would be surpassed in May through July, and we were right on the mark. Las Vegas homes price per square foot appreciated by an incredible 3.85% in May, and this high rate should continue for the next three months. Average days on the market. While the average days on the market had fallen to a record low of 29 days in April, it has shrunk to 19 days in May. This is an influx of cash offers by some wealthy real estate investment firms, foreign investment and smaller investors buying everything they can. This is why financing buyers are hitting a wall. Original asking list price versus the sales price. Realtors overprice their listings in strong seller markets, and one reason is future appreciation. So the initial asking price is usually high. That is why they sell for about 97 to 98% of the original asking list price. Yet homes have been trading for 101% of the original asking list price. Las Vegas condos and townhomes market. Available listings are just as tight when it comes to condos and townhomes. There are 630 condos and townhomes currently listed on the MLS. Of these, 396 are condo listings and 234 townhomes. 1,176 units are now under contract. Condos and townhouse sales were at 920 units in May, which is 85 units less than April. Again, low listing inventory and unrealistic asking list prices are to blame. That puts the months of listing inventory at 0.6 months, just like the single family homes. The median price of condominiums and townhouses for May 2021 is $205,250, which is 1.9% higher than in April. The appreciation rate so far in 2021 is at 6.35%. And this is an excellent example of why the median price fails miserably in showing how much condos and townhouses have appreciated. The price per square foot of units sold in May is $186 per square foot, which is 3.3% higher than April and 11.3% higher than January 2021. Average days to sell hit a record low of 30 days and the sales price to the original asking list price is 100%. How long will these extraordinary price gains go on? We have no expertise in the national and world economy, but we know the Las Vegas real estate market very well. In an interview, the CEO of Redfin, one of the biggest real estate websites, predicted that prices would go down this year. When it comes to Las Vegas, we beg to differ. For home prices to stabilize or start going down, we have to hit four months of listing inventory. In the spring or summer, the average home sales will surpass 3,200 houses. Thus, we need to have 3,200 times 4 equals 12,800 available home listings. So we need an additional 10,747 more listings. And not only don't we see that happening, we don't think that we will reach 5,000 this year. Tight inventory is not unusual in the Las Vegas real estate market. In the last four years and five months, we have hit four months of listing inventory once and have been over three months inventory for seven months. The months of listing inventory have been less than two months for about 29 months. So as long as the available listing inventory is about two months or less, home price gains will be high, single digit or double digit. 
So home price appreciation will go on unabated for the rest of the year, barring a catastrophe. Buying and selling in a hyper-seller Las Vegas real estate market. The buyer's realtor and what you do to prepare for buying decide success or failure in this market, while success means future equity due to rising prices. The home buyer's realtor should be knowledgeable about what to do in this sort of market, waiting to write an offer, asking for a high seller's contribution, trying to lowball a listing, disagreeing with the listing agent's escrow company or long escrow time, all lead to a rejection of the offer. Financing buyers and first-time home buyers hitting a wall and collecting a pile of rejections. Most financing buyers are at fault for their misery since they refuse to do the right thing and get underwritten approved or close to it before making an offer so they can su successfully compete with the cash buyers. Underwritten approved means that the buyers have done everything that they are going to do after getting into contract prior to writing a contract like submitting financials and obtaining a letter from the bank that states they are qualified for a loan contingent on appraisal. First-time home buyers that use a down payment or mortgage assistance are already underwritten approved and their realtors should forcefully inform the sellers. We have explained how in the Mortgage Guide for Las Vegas Homes, Condos, High-Rise Buyers video, we highly recommend that prospective buyers watch it. On the seller side, the last thing that you need is a realtor that sells your home in an hour or a couple of days. It is prudent to put in the MLS listing to allow for several days, like five to seven days, before the seller will review the offers. This allows all qualified buyers that like your house to be able to visit it and make an offer. The other point is that when your realtor gets a couple of offers early on, he or she can put it in the status field, multiple, multiple offers received. Doing so results in better offers. If there are multiple offers, he or she can send the buyers submit your highest and best offer form, resulting in getting the maximum offers. Lastly, we keep getting unsolicited postcards from 1% realtors telling us that this is the best time to sell our house. It is not. Keep your home as long as you can. You will get 10% more by fall. And if you have to sell, please contact us at 702 478-7800. If you find our video about Las Vegas real estate market June 2021, exploding prices, good, please like it and subscribe to our real estate channel. This is Karen Saberzade of Las Vegas Homes, Condos, and Luxury High-Rise Condos wishing you a great day.